Congratulations to today's daily shoutout winners. If you want to win a shoutout, leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shoutout in my next video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lizzie. Be sure to subscribe button and be sure to drop a like if you guys are excited for today's video and I'll make a special inclusive offer for you guys. If this video gets to 20,000 likes, I will go to Chuck E. Cheese and film a video in the Chuck E. Cheese building for once because I heard soon that Chuck E. Cheeses are finally opening up again in California and I literally live right by Chuck E. Cheese. So if this video gets to 20,000 likes, I will go to Chuck E. Cheese and film a super crazy video. But today we are still going to be talking about scary true Chuck E. Cheese stories. <laughs> a video like this in a while and you guys have been begging so much for me to do more Chuck E. Cheese videos. So the tea is hot and today we're going to be telling some scary Chuck E. Cheese stories. So let's just get started. Here's one of the stories I found from an employee who worked at Chuck E. Cheese. One time one of the servers dropped a pizza that had just come out of the oven. He put the pizza on the tray to take out but he dropped the tray top down onto the floor. It was really busy in the Chuck E. Cheese so the server took a spatula, went all the way around the pizza and flipped it back over. But the pizza somehow still looked perfect. He looked at it and said forget it and then served it to a party. About 10 minutes later he was called to the table about the pizza he brought out and they said that it was the best pizza that they ever had. First off, ew, that is so so gross. I know a while back people were always talking about the Chuck E. Cheese pizza saying that one thing about how they look uneven. Whenever a Chuck E. Cheese pizza would be delivered to the table the pieces didn't line up or align correctly and then people had the conspiracy or rumor that Chuck E. Cheese might be recycling their pizzas. But I think Chuck E. Cheese can Made that to be false. They said that their pizzas are actually cooked fresh and it's even on their boxes now. And I know in a previous video I found out tea that Chuck E. Cheese was hiding where they actually made a second business connected called Pasquale's Pizza and it's basically just Chuck E. Cheese but the name of another character in Chuck E. Cheese and they were doing that because people were scared to eat Chuck E. Cheese pizza because they thought it was recycled. It's crazy how that happens but like imagine if the pizza actually did fall and the server really did serve it to somebody and they're like oh Oh, that was some scrumptious pizza. I mean, that would really suck. Pretty gross. Next story. So this next one is really creepy. So this story was about a worker who was actually cleaning up the night at Chuck E. Cheese when he found something crazy. I was almost done with my shift for the day. I had had a really long day cleaning up after all the birthday parties, putting tickets in all the arcade machines, and running the prize booth at Chuck E. Cheese. But of course I had to pay my bills, and working at Chuck E. Cheese was the best option for me since I lived right next door. I remember when I was cleaning up that night, and I was leading out all the families to leave before we shut the lights off and go home at the end of our shift, I heard crying in the ball pit. It was kind of strange because all the families had just left and there was no one else left inside of this Chuck E. Cheese. I then walked over to the ball pit and looked around and I didn't see anything. I then looked back at the stage and somehow the lights that I turned off on the stage magically had turned back on all by themselves. It almost looked like the animatronics had shifted positions. Chuck E. Cheese was slouched over with his eyes wide open and Helen Henny didn't look like she was in the same pose as she was before. I was really confused so then I went over to the stage and turned the lights off. I then heard a little girl scream, help please please help they were gonna get me and it was coming from over where the ball pit was at that point I was so scared that I wanted to get out of my shift but I knew that what if there was a kid in the ball pit that a family somehow had forgotten at Chuck E. Cheese I dove inside the ball pit and there was nothing there I was getting really creeped out I looked back at the stage and one single light appeared over Chuck E. Cheese's head and then Chuck E. Cheese opened his eyes even wider all by himself staring directly at me at that point I was so creeped out I almost considered quitting my job that night. I then went over to the stage to turn off the lights for a final time, grab the keys, and lock down the store and get out of there as soon as possible. But then once again, I heard a young girl cry, hey please, please help, I'm scared, they're gonna get me, they're gonna get me. I looked over at the ball pit and to my surprise, there was a little girl hiding in the ball pit that I somehow missed. She explained how the animatronic actually was talking to her and told her that she better not leave or else he would get her. So she then hid in the ball pit in efforts to stay away from getting kidnapped from the scared animatronics she claimed that were talking to her. The guy explained to her that the animatronic could not talk and that she would be okay and then asked where her mom was. She then started crying saying she didn't know and that her family had left without her. And then the employee said, don't worry, I'll call the cops and we'll figure this out. He then reached for the cell phone and when he was about to turn around and get the little girl's name, the little girl was gone. Then looked back at the stage and all the lights were completely dim over top all the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics and they looked to be in their regular setting position. All the lights in the Chuck E. Cheese turned off all by themselves and he lost signal on the call and he never saw the little girl ever again. <laughs> that story is absolutely terrifying! <laughs> that story actually 
actually keeps me up at night. I don't know if that Chuck E. Cheese was maybe just haunted or if the little girl really did go missing and an animatronic took her. Comment down below what you guys think. That story is crazy. That might be the scariest and most insane Chuck E. Cheese story I've heard yet. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and also if you guys have any scary stories about Chuck E. Cheese, comment them down in the comments down below because I am curious. The next story is also pretty crazy. You guys do know about the Chuck E. Cheese mascots, right? Well, before I tell the story, let me show you guys what an original Chuck E. Cheese mascot looked like. So here on the screen is the OG Chuck E. Cheese mascots and it's crazy because I always talk about how much these animatronics and these mascots have changed over the years at Chuck E. Cheese. Like the old ones were kind of scary. The new ones do look a lot more normal looking, but it does kind of take away the original Chuck E. Cheese vibes that I had growing up as a kid. When I was growing up as a kid, Chuck E. Cheese kind of looked like this, which actually was pretty chill. Like I think that's the Chuck E. Cheese era I missed when they had all the tube tunnels, the ball pits, the mascots, the really old animatronics. It just felt more like Chuck E. Cheese versus like now they're ripping up the animatronics and putting in dance stages and using these mascots. But anyways, let me tell you guys the tea about this next story because this one is scary. So this story is about a young lady who had just got employed to Chuck E. Cheese and she was about to become the rat. She didn't know that she was going to be the rat or the mascot. She thought she was going to be working the desk, but apparently when she was hired, they kind of tricked her into being the rat because nobody wanted to be the rat. And if you guys didn't know, at Chuck E. Cheese, when you're the rat, you have to do kind of embarrassing dances and you have to throw tickets, make it rain tickets on kids. You have to basically come out at every birthday party, do a little kids tugging on you, parents getting mad at you. It's a lot of pressure, but nobody wanted to do it. She also, like the last person in the last story, needed some money to support her family and get a car and move out, so she worked at the Chuck E. Cheese because it was nearby. She then said fine, she would give a shot at being the Chuck E. Cheese rat even though she didn't want to. So her first day of training went fine, she learned how to put the costume mascot on, she learned the etiquette of being Chuck E. Cheese and learning all the dances and what to do and what not to do. But the next day when she came into work in the early morning, she was working the desk to start and everything was fine, giving out prizes at the ticket booth and helping kids in the arcade. But then there was a party that she had to dress up for. She then walked into the room where the Chuck E. Cheese mascot was supposed to be, but the costume wasn't there. She then asked her boss saying, hey, did someone take the costume? It's not there. And he said, oh, that's weird. It should be there, but have you checked the lower basement? And then the girl asked, what lower basement? And the guy was like, well, sometimes that mascot seems to like get moved around. We don't know if it's someone pulling a prank or something, but sometimes it's in the lower basement with our extra storage bin. So the girl says, okay, I guess. So then she decides to go down into the lower basement of this Chuck E. Cheese. When she went down into this basement of the Chuck E. Cheese, she said that apparently there was a lot of old expired looking cans of food. Beef cans, pepperonis and weird packaging, and weird old toys that Chuck E. Cheese seemed to not want to put in their prize booth. But then she saw the costume and it kind of caught her off guard. All of a sudden the costume looked like the face had changed and the eyes on the mascot looked angrier than usual. She then heard a weird mumble come from the costume head and she started to panic. She asked her boss if there was any kind of cat in the basement or animal or something down there that would be making a noise and he proceeded to say no. Sometimes weird noises just come from the pipes in the basement. So she didn't think much of it so she went downstairs to get the costume on. She brought it up and as she proceeded to put the costume on all of a sudden once she put the head on she heard a low evil voice whisper in her ears take the head off. She then threw the head against the ground and as she threw the head against the ground she said the eyes of the mascot started to glow. She told her boss about this horrifying moment and her boss did not believe her. He said if you don't go and put that costume on right now for the party that's going on right now you are going to be fired. She then panicked because she knew she needed the money. She put the costume on and as she did she started to feel really weird. But she went out to the party and as soon as she got there she started doing the dance and throwing the ticket. Halfway through the party though she didn't feel so good. Eventually she ended up passing out and they had to send her to the emergency room. They claimed that she had fainted but it seems a little weird since the costume seemed almost cursed. That night she told the boss that she would never wear the costume again or never go back to work if she is forced to wear the costume. She believes that that mascot costume was haunted and not only that but the kids at the birthday party were traumatized for seeing Chuck E. Cheese pass out. She then decided to quit her job and the boss was really unhappy about it. Rumor has it that the next employee who was forced to wear the Chuck E. Cheese costume had the same exact similar experience and he also ended up quitting too. And now that Chuck E. Cheese has a really hard time getting anyone to wear the Chuck E. Cheese costume. That story 
is crazy oh my goodness these stories are actually kind of scary guys like what is happening imagine a haunted Chuck E. Cheese guys that is actually crazy I know there is rumors of like the world's largest Chuck E. Cheese actually being haunted anyways guys that's going to do it for today's scary Chuck E. Cheese stories video if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button it's been Lizzie thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys so that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.